Well, just got to Columbus. They haven't let the dailies in, so everybody who's set up is the, I guess they pay by the month. It'll be interesting to see uh, if we find anything can't live without today. Ship's pretty good. I guess it's a sign bracket, kind of fun, or a mailbox holder, something like that. Alright, see you guys at the first stop. Musical pencil cassette, that's kind of fun. Look like, almost looks like the right Knight Rider. Bunch of, uh... Hey Dan, what do you want on these things? Um, how many is there? More than 10. It's about 10, yeah. 10 bucks for a pile? Yeah, I'll do that. I think it's cool. You know what they are? You can make a t-shirt, right? Yeah. yeah. The decals. I found the decals somewhere else. I'm not, they're not in this load, but they're somewhere. Um, they were just individual decals, and I guess she was putting them on this. Yeah, I believe this is like an iron-on. Right. Thank you. Amen. Hey, pretty cool. Do you want this? Do you want to put that? No. Nope. Good. Oh, $10 is pretty awesome. All right, let's see what else we got. So last Thursday, I think we had that real lucky golden day. So we'll see if uh, we get as lucky today. There's nothing here to see, buddy. How you doing? What do you get on the threader? $80. It's in one corner of the box, but the whole thing's there. Never see them this big. That might be a thing we need. Let's see what else we can find, though. Mermaid's kind of cool. Alligator's fun. Got one broken leg, but he's still old. Well, let's see what he wants. He's not here. What do you get on the letter or the paper? 18. Nice old one. The rooster's kind of cool too. Newer, but it's cool. Thank you. Dick, these are old, right? <laughs> these are... I'm, not, I'm not even looking at faces anymore. Yeah. Yeah, those are old. I mean, just the... I don't think they even cast these things anymore that way. But oh, boy! Yeah. Bubbles in the ball. Huh? I guess I'll have to get them. <laughs> $10. Thank you. What are these, the four inch balls? Oh, uh, the large, yeah, the large. What I'm asking like 20 for the box. I just, the balls, I hate dealing with them because of breaking. Yep. Never see the huge ones though. Yeah, they're nice. I always get like at least eight to 10 a piece, but I pull the box out, I just wanna, I think they're in all right shape. I'm not sure. I, didn't, I just pulled them out. I like how this one has the moon. I <laughs> know. Uh, that's really neat. They're they're a good, a 
I'll just whip those out. I have a Christmas buyer coming. I texted him yet last night because Yeah, I've been picking up a bunch of those recently. Alright. Eh, I guess we'll get them for 20. Again, you never see the really large ones. Fist size. How much is the lighter? 10. Eh, I guess we have to do that. Can't say you see them too often. His eyes are in good shape. So you got me for 30, that means. <laughs> That's good. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So 20 on the alligator. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Oh, definitely different. Let's see what else we find. I think it's a. Uh, Ashtray. But you really have to. Yeah. Just a cool piece of folk art. Red table. if we find anything else. This is a complete set of two. How are they uh, priced, Rick? Prices? Yeah, like... This table varies. Okay. The other table, a dollar. There's some couple of nice jewelry. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, dog sounds kind of fun. <coughs> this one's kind of different too. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. Old Zippo later. Flint dispenser. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, I'll take eighteen. So, so five for, the, for these. Yeah. Wait, Let me the, see yeah. if I got another bag for that. Yeah, thank you. Nineteen ninety-three. These all fit right in here. Oh yeah, my father-in-law was big on camel. And oh, thank you. Oh, you got more stuff too. Yeah. It happens all the time. Yep. That's what I do a house I take all, you know, if you get the chance, of course you take all that. Because once the uncle gets in there, the mother, the brother, they just start picking like a third stuff. Everything on this table's a buck? Yes, sir. Your box? No, no. Okay. And this stuff here is 50 cents. Anything in here? Uh, well, you got me for two bucks. Okay. Thank you. Like it happens all the time. Yep. That's what I do a house I take all, you know, if you get the chance, of course you take all the time. Because once the uncle gets in there, the mother, the brother, they just start picking like a third stuff. Everything on this table is a buck? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, silver ring. 
Your box? No, no. Okay. And this stuff here is 50 cents. Anything in here? Yeah. Well, you got me for two bucks. Okay. Thank you. I like the enamel lips. What do you get on the enamel, enamel stuff and the paintbrushes? Um, a buck a piece. Some of these are up to two bucks each. Not for the pack. They're all art, they're all good artist stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, six bucks for the box. The circuit circuit board earrings. Yeah, they're kind of cool, right? Two bucks. I got these each pretty cheap for the brushes. This one's even made in the USA. Fencing metals. Two for five. Two for five. I'm going to put a washer in bulk. Oh, this three bucks for the two of them. I'm going to pass on that. Little electronic thing. Give me a buck for that. Yeah, why not? Thank you. Okay. I do like the little wood boxes. What do you get on the little wood boxes? They're two bucks a piece. I had about 20 of them. Oh. Yeah, they're great for organizing. That's that's what I use them for. I like to sell them, I let them go. And the knobs? I was asking 20, but I'd be 15 bucks. I know these are probably good five bucks just for these two. You got a pair of those? Yep. Yeah. Looking like there's a bunch of pairs in there. I think we'll do it. Get your bigger bag. They're all brass. Yeah, why not? Another nineteen dollars. It's nice having all these smalls. It's hard to pick them out.
I got this pile here. I don't know what you want for it. Where? The monkeys, the duck. I'm gonna get that weird. But you want these scissors too, or no? Nah, okay. Just and then this stuff. Yeah, not not this, but just right here. Fifteen bucks. Yeah, that's fair. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And how much is this guy? I did two on that. All right. I'll take that. You give me so, bag, like a donkey bank. Has some age though. Yeah, all this stuff does. We got this all from a storage unit. Oh, good find. Yeah. And the chicken? I did two on that too. Yeah, why not? All right. So 24 all together. Yep. Well, ended up being a really nice day. We uh, bought a bunch of fun things. I was happy with these. I believe these are the iron-on samples to show what she had, but I think they would frame really nice. Um, my buddy said that they had a bunch more, or he has a bunch more that haven't been used. So, definitely has 1973 so there's Superman these might actually be iron-ons but I'm not 100% sure like two uh, where you put them on and then iron them but Spider-Man's pretty cool <laughs> Old school Batman. Bootleg Mickey's. The Star Wars all have the little trademark thing, 1977. So, I don't know. Those are pretty cool. Uh, especially for 10 bucks. Uh, what else did we get? Got the huge Christmas ornaments. What's nice, you can tell that they're fairly old. They have a little bit of crazing to them. And they also have these teeny uh, tops with the... I actually forgot what these are called when they're that size. But I believe they have a special name. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments. Definitely don't see them too often. Uh, I think that's either a four or five inch bulb. Uh, we also got the the owl later from the same same place. She had twenty five on it. She gave me a deal since I bought the bulbs. Uh, it says nineteen sixty four. T A N. Um, oh man, I gotta sneeze. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, it went away because I said it. Um, got the piano stool let feet. These are actually pretty nice and ornate. Uh, the little wood box. I think we. I bought the drawer pulls, the wood boxes. I got this uh, lock also, but this lock is an old master with the lion key. Uh, they actually sell for. 20 bucks and I think we spent I spent $20 with that and I got the silver ring also um, really like the firemen never see the vintage black Halloween cats uh, did pick up I traded uh, one of the things I got and grabbed these little uh, chick salt and peppers I just thought they were cute Lesterware Bulldog. Got the Lesterware Lion. He's actually pretty fun. Very deco design. And uh, I don't know why I grabbed that. It just would look cool in a fish tank. <laughs> the Never See the Fourth Monkey. And I don't know. That, that was basically everything we got. 
the pretty sure this is just a uh, tourist piece from uh, Florida but just fun definitely has like a real primitive look to it so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't yet give somebody a call and might be alone um, please be safe out there and we will uh, see you hopefully tomorrow gonna go over to Collingswood so thank you again for watching peace maybe we'll go take a quick look at the garden so we've been cutting the lettuce out of the garden pretty regular and I have everything transplanted except for my celosia but it's just about like here's one of the tomatoes that we were doing a week or two ago and you can see they're just about there to be ready to plant in the garden I don't have a greenhouse so for starting them in the kitchen I think we're in pretty good shape been getting a lot of these uh, noses from the trees with the wind but besides that all the little starts that we've done have done pretty good and uh, the peas have taken off their knee high got probably uh, definitely gonna have a ton of them once they I think we're gonna have to I think they'll get four foot tall so we might have to add one more piece of netting and the broccoli was the surprise remember how I was all disappointed because they came out all small look how big the broccoli heads have gotten now so we've had some cool weather they didn't bolt and they actually look pretty good so you only take four plants for dinner instead of uh, 10 or 12 <laughs> like what I was worried about and the other thing I wanted to show you was the potatoes I haven't gotten the flea beetles on them yet or the potato beetles but they are close to three foot tall now <laughs> and just look really really healthy so oh, sorry about that some type of little ladybug here's a flea beetle so these guys will put holes through all the leaves um, probably in the next I'd say here's another one real teeny guy in the next week or two they'll start eating these but we're just starting to get the flowers to start on the potatoes and I did plant these right around uh, I think it was St. Patty's Day was the day we planted the potatoes so it seemed to work pretty well for here. There's another ladybug hanging out. Nice dark red. Maybe they'll help keep the flea beetles away. All right. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the garden update. <coughs> Amazing how big they got. All right. Thank you for watching.